Alright, in this video, I'm going to show you about uh, a binary uh, which comes bundled with Linux. Uh, uh, it is called PMAP, which is uh, basically to show you the process map of uh, any particular process. In general, memory management is <coughs> sorry, memory management is pretty complicated. Uh, now the in OS, uh, every process lives in their own allocated region of memory and allocated space, and uh, that allocated region are not directly mapped to the physical address space, hardware address space, right? So what operating system does? It create a virtual memory space for each process to create an abstraction layer uh, for the for the virtual memory to the physical memory right in kernel in linux kernel there is a translation table which translate the virtual address to physical address and which is accessible by the cpu okay so and it gets updated by the uh, CPU whenever it accessed. Okay, so without further ado, let me jump into a terminal. I hope I'm zoomed enough. So let me start with um, the man page. I will show you in a moment. I'm telling all this just to make you accustomed uh, to the process. Okay, make no mistakes. Uh, understanding memory management in Linux takes some taking. Okay, uh, it all about getting used to and spending time to understand the pattern, understand how it basically work underneath. So. It is not so, there is no silver spoon. People need to spend time to figure it out how things work, okay? So likewise, uh, when when a shared memory is there, so how, and it shared between the different process, right? So there is a chance of it getting corrupted or gobbles up but there is a mechanism every time the any process one of the shared process try to write into the memory the memory get copied and written to it so the shared memory stays sane and the written copy whatever the process wanted is not concerned by the other share process okay that is how it is basically managing stuff underneath i'm giving you a 60000 feet overview of it okay uh, this video is not to jump into a that kind of great detail i probably lacking a lot of detail too so what top of my mind come to you i'm just preaching it out for your benefit so you can wrap around your head before seeing the example i'm going to show with this particular binary i'm going to take a uh, deep root on a p map which is a process map okay so uh, you should have it like uh, where is p map okay so let's start with the man page because i think this is the first thing you look if you want to try something new you haven't tried it before because man page are basically written by the author of the author of the binary or people who are very accustomed to that particular binary or specific program so chances are high that you'll get much more authentic information in it having said all that man pages are not all the time very much very easy to decipherable especially something lacking example discrete example 
So, so without further, let me get into the man page. Uh, this is a man page. It says report memory map of a process. Okay, and it has got so many flags which I'm not going to show you, but I'm going to show you a few of them. Okay, and the flags are pretty uh, self-explanatory, so you don't have to sweat enough to understand it. Okay, so this is a short and small man page. Uh, it probably take you five minutes of uh, dedicated concentration to read it, and I encourage you to read it. Okay, for your benefit, for your sake. Okay, so say for instance, uh, I'm I'm running ST terminal right now. Okay, so if I run pmap and it require a process id okay so if i run pgrep uh, st solarize because i name my binary like that uh, specifically you could use any binary which is running in the system okay so if i without giving any flag if i if i press enter see um, it ran off right let me less it so it will be easier for you to see uh, you can see uh, there are there are different st on the left hand side you can see the the memory has been mapped okay and on the right hand side you can see what are the process mapped okay and you can see the permission to what are having read and write and executable permission to okay so and if you see the ace flag it is mean that section is shared i hope you are seeing it properly right on the terminal that there is a ace flag that means it is shared that segment is shared with the other process too okay so now uh, this is uh, you as i mentioned to you you need to have little understanding that i'm not trying to intimidate you but to decipher something if you if you don't have the little bit of i'm not saying you have to be expert but you need to have little bit of understanding to decipher the output you are getting out of the binary basically this output is coming from a virtual file system that is a proc file system okay so proc file system i have a detailed video about that you can go back to the channel and have a look at it the proc file system is a virtual file system when linux boot it creates a file system which which giving you a state of the running kernel in different segments. Every damn process has got two specific file, proc maps and proc s map. The output you saw, which directly come from those two files. Okay, pmap is passing the process proc map proc map. and proc s map these two file it will it will create every process has got these two file in them okay you can find it under the proc directory under specific process id and pmap is a binary front end which is reading from it the the, the information if i run it again you see it is these informations are all coming from those two files of a specific process because I'm trying to uh, read the process map of a ST terminal which is where I am in okay so it is showing me where the memory is mapped where the memory location is what are the permission how it is how it is how it is 
how much it uh, how much memory it takes and all this stuff very intuitive okay now uh, if you want more elaborative example of it say for pmap there is a there is a flag x which will give you an extended view like the previous one i'm sticking to one because if i started to take another you might get confused i'm stick the process id id could be anything any process you are running in a in the system okay i'm just sticking with one that so the consistency should be there so rised that's the name of the binary i'm running the terminal okay so the explanation is i built a st terminal for myself with two different variables one for the sorize what you are seeing on the screen another is for like this uh, the the grub box one this two i have built for myself okay that is why i explicitly named the binary like this okay you the bottom line is that you can get any process a pmap requires a process id to parse on okay the x flag is for the extended one so if i less it see it comes with a much more and you can see the address the 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 amount of memory it takes in kilobyte the rss is the resident site state you can see that in other popular tool also darty means it's been the memory has been written not yet committed the mode is the is the is the execution table bits and the mapping is where the memory is mapped to which which uh, which section and to which binary and which library okay this is extremely useful for debugging purpose and to understand the underlying mechanism for any process which is which is accessing the resources of your system where you are sitting on okay um now if you are not uh satisfied enough then i'm just see the difference i passed a small x if i first capital x which is the verbosity is much more okay to enhance the verbosity level of uh, uh, display you can use capital x see so many uh, so many columns have shown up okay so i need to uh, zoom in because i have zoomed out enough in my terminal that that, that the output get messed up as i mentioned it so many times because i'm sitting with a tiny laptop screen so it's very difficult to accommodate all the so if i for the sake of uh, showing you the correct output i'm just zoom in please zoom in your desktop and laptop to see it properly so if i do now somehow so this is how it looks like okay it bring out the capital x flag of pmap binary bring out much more information you can see there it has added inode it has added offset it has added lazy free different other uh, column to the output it is extremely useful if you can decipher all this stuff okay so i if you if you know what are the heading means so simple i'm i'm just picking out just to, just to show you that that uh, that if you know the meaning of the of the 
of the of the title of the of the heading what the things enlisted so it will become much easier for you to decipher everything and understand that why it is showing like this and how it is behaving and working underneath right so it will be a it only benefit you if you um, if you if you see like this okay now i hope i am repeating again i hope you're seeing again now i want more verb you said you want more verbosity then you can add one more x to it see i have passed two capital x flag with the process id it will add even more verbosity see that it couldn't fit my screen okay it already too small to see but if you have a bigger screen you can add verbosity which will by using capital x to the pmap binary to show more columns with results so you can see where how the memory is playing underneath of any binary you are running okay so this is an extremely useful tool people should use when they are in search of finding out something uh, what i say something something related to a specific process debugging purpose or something like that so this is a very important tool if you if you make yourself accustomed to it it will only help you to 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 understand provided provided you have a little bit of understanding of memory in general i'm opening up the man page again so as you can see the x stand for extended and there are many ways you can get the device you can get the range as i shown to you there is a x for more verbosity and uh this is this is a double capital x what i have shown to you that so many columns coming with the result which i couldn't fit in my small laptop screen you can see the path to where it is mapping which is very intuitive you 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 can see where things are coming from or where it is mapped okay so uh, to wrap up with this let me f grab uh, sorry i'm going to show you 756 right so if i do get broke uh, 756 s map see as i told you the pmap binary will parse the s maps and maps file every process created which is which is enlisted under the proke virtual file system you can see this is the this is the content of the maps s maps file okay likewise if i do maps see this is the maps file for specific process these two output are combined and accessed by the pmap binary okay so i hope this will be useful for some people Thanks for watching.